You have your Yeti tumbler. You're so excited to try etching it with citrus strip, but you're nervous because Yeti tumblers cost a lot of money. This video is for you because I was in the same boat and I actually ruined my first one. So I thought I will do a video dedicated to citrus stripping Yeti tumblers since I've already destroyed one. And spoiler alert, it still goes downhill from there, but I finally figured it out and I wanted to share that with you guys today. Your first step should always be testing the bottom of your tumbler with whatever method you're using, time or heat, just to make sure that it works because tumblers can vary from color to color or design style to design style. But unfortunately with the Yetis, a lot of them do not have any of the powder, the Dura-coated paint on the bottom, so you cannot test them. The next piece is very important. You want to make sure you have your stencil on as secure as possible so you get those nice crisp edges. So the first step in applying any permanent vinyl to a tumbler is to make sure that your tumbler is clean. So you're going to want to wipe that down with alcohol. And then you're going to let that dry. And then you're going to take your stencil, which is you cut it out on your cutting machine and you reverse weeded it. And you're going to take your transfer tape and put it on with your transfer tape. And you want to press it down as well as you can. You also want to make sure that there are no air bubbles near your actual stencil part. Because if there are, that's a space where your citrus strip can get underneath that and then eat away where it shouldn't. So I like to use a tennis ball to get it down nice and, and firm without any bubbles. And then I remove the transfer tape. And I apply heat. Why do I apply heat? I do that to adhere that vinyl to the cup even more. So I use 400 degrees on my digital heat gun, which I definitely recommend as you're going to see further into this video when we use the heat method. Precise heat is very important with Yetis. So I'm going to do 400 degrees for 30 seconds. If you have a hair dryer, your hair dryer on high for 30 seconds is great too. So now our stencil is down as, as good as we can get it. And you can see there's some creases and air bubbles, but they're not around my stencil. So that's totally fine if they're at the edges because we are not citrus stripping there. So what you want to do next is you want to put painter's tape all around. So when it drips, it doesn't eat paint away from an area that you don't want it to. And next is when we apply the citrus strip. So you can take a foam brush or a regular brush and go ahead and apply it nice and thick and make sure you have a nice even coat and that everything is covered. And these steps that I just took you through, these are going to be the same for all of the tumblers that I do with you today and also all of the steps, the time method or the heat method, it all starts like this. And now is where we start to break off into the different methods. So this is what my Yeti wine tumbler looked like after letting the citrus strip sit on for an hour. And don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through the removal process with the Rambler, but I just wanted to show you that an hour worked great on the wine tumbler. So now, since I'm hearing different stuff online about how it takes two hours, um, you know, my theory is it's different between the different products Yeti makes. So we're going to test the Rambler and see if it takes an hour or longer with the Rambler. So it's been an hour with the citrus strip on the Rambler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test a little spot. Aha, uh -huh. and it is peeling up. So it looks like, let me test a little spot on the side. And as you can see here, we had major drips. So I'm glad I taped up the whole tumbler. Try this side. Oh wow, it's coming off nicely. See, I don't know if you can see this. But as I scrape, the paint comes up and I can see 
the stainless steel underneath. So we're ready to go. So what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna wanna rinse the citrus strip off. And again, I would normally use a utility sink, but for demonstration purposes, this is better. Okay, and then once you get most of that citrus strip off, you'll notice that my paint didn't come with it. So what we have to do then is leave your vinyl on, but then go ahead and scrub. And sometimes it's actually easier to get it going. Just be careful you don't scratch. to take my vinyl off and then continue to work at the loose pieces. Okay, so it still definitely has some work to do. So I'm gonna get out my scrub daddy now. Again, make sure anything you're using is non-scratch. Wow, that is looking so much better already. I'm gonna keep working at it. But I mean, I guess we know without the heat, it takes the same amount of time from my wine tumbler to my rambler. So some of the stuff I'm reading online about how it takes two hours and it just doesn't seem, doesn't seem like that's the case. It seems like a Yeti takes about an hour with no heat. I mean, this is looking really good, but I'm gonna keep working because this is a gift. Um, and if you take one of these orange sticks, they're, they're made for your nails, but if you take that in either end, actually, that end or this end, and you just go along the edge, that paint is loose. So if you go against it, it's gonna come up and you are going to have a crisp, clean, beautiful line. So I'm gonna go through and do this for every letter. And then we're gonna come back and we are gonna try the heat and see if the heat is the same on this as it was on our wine tumbler. Next, we're going to go on to the heat method for the Yeti, and you might ask, well, if the time method worked just fine, why would we want to do the heat method? Well, the reason for the heat method is it's way shorter. So you put the citrus strip on for 10 minutes, you apply heat, and you take it off, and usually with my other tumblers, the paint comes off a lot easier with the heat method. So it's a shortening of time, and it's an ease of use. But the heat method for Yetis is a lot trickier than any of the tumblers I've done, and I say that because... It took me six tries to get it right, and spoiler alert, I ruined two tumblers. So hopefully you can learn by my mistakes and save yourself a lot of money. So I'm going to quickly walk you through my fails because I think you can learn a lot about the fail. Um, and also it gives you some parameters to work with on what matters, what doesn't matter, what works, what's totally over the edge. And I'm also curious, I was also curious to see if the heat method varied between the two tumblers. So we're going to go through these and then we're going to get to the answer at the end. My first attempt was at 1100 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds because I thought the Duracoat maybe had a higher temperature point, but it was a total and utter fail. Way too hot. My second attempt was at 700 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds, and it came out looking great. So that's it, right? No, that's not it, because let's go on to the next one. So I said, aha, I have this figured out. It only took two tries, so I did 700 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds on the Rambler, and you can see that it got underneath the vinyl 
it was just a little bit too hot. So I think it worked on the wine tumbler because my design was not that intricate. The There was not a lot of vinyl right next to each other. Um, but with a more intricate design, I think it's too hot of a temperature. So that brings us to attempt four. And I dialed the heat back and did 550 degrees Fahrenheit for 90 seconds. And it definitely worked. And I say up here it's just okay because it wasn't as easy to scrub off as my other tumblers that I've used heat on. But, I mean, it definitely hurt. It worked. Nothing was damaged. But I want to try to get it a little bit better. So, so I decided to keep it at 550 degrees Fahrenheit and leave it on for two minutes. And honestly, there was no difference between the 90 seconds and the two minutes. So it tells me that time is not as much of a factor in this heat game with Yetis as the actual heat is. So I wanted to try one more. But it was not giving up because attempt number six is our winner. And I did 600 degrees Fahrenheit for 90 seconds. And the paint did come off easier than the 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Still doesn't come off as easy as some of the other tumblers I do. Some of those, they just melt off like butter. But I think it has to do with Yeti's Duracoat that they use. So it definitely, this is not all cleaned up in this picture, but the paint comes off, it cleans up. It's not too much easier to get the paint off and clean it up than if you just do the time method. But it does save you a ton of time because you're looking at an hour versus 10 minutes plus 90 seconds. So if you're making these as gifts or to sell, the heat method definitely reduces your time by a ton. Now we know that the sweet spot for heat for Yeti tumblers is 600 degrees Fahrenheit at 90 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna walk you through the process. So you prep it exactly the same as you would for the time method. And then you put the citrus strip on just like you would. But what we're gonna do is we are only going to let the citrus strip set this time for 10 minutes. And then we're going to come back and we're going to heat it up. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is I laid down some aluminum foil just to protect my work surface. And I'm gonna put some aluminum foil over top of my design just to protect the vinyl. And like we said before, we found the magic time and temperature, which is 600 degrees. So I have my digital heat gun. And again, I highly recommend a digital heat gun, especially for the heat method for the Yetis because you can get very specific and tell it exactly 600 degrees, there's no guessing. Um, so 600 degrees for 90 seconds, and then we're gonna see what we have. And the paint is peeling off. So we are good to go, no more time is needed. Okay, and here it is after a quick scrub. I think it looks great. And again, I will take my orange stick and I will continue to detail these, the loose paint around the edges. But there you go. That is the process with a Yeti wicker heat. Now keep in mind, I'm not saying this is the gonna work on every single Yeti. There could be differences between colors and different um, design styles, but I think we have proved between the wine tumbler and the rambler, it did work the same. So again, in summary, it was an hour for the time method, and then it was 10 minutes, 600 degrees Fahrenheit and 90 seconds for the heat method. And that worked um, great on both of them. It's my hope that this tutorial has saved you some frustration and hopefully some money in wasted Yeti tumblers. 
And to help you further, I've also, I also have some free cheat sheets on my website, one that lists all the tumblers I've done and the times I've used, and one that gives you a step-by-step -step method of the citrus strip etching method.